smaller mid-size SUV has been in the market for quite some time now. However, the Chess automaker recently updated the Karok SUV and given its sportier looks. So, we decided to come and take a closer look at the car as well. Presenting to you the facelifted Skoda Karok Sportline. Just to recap, you guys have tuned into Drive Media Reviews and this is Hercules here with a walk-around video of the new updated Skoda Karok. Talking about variants, you get three variants, SE, SEL and Sportline as you see here. So, three different trips and this is the sportier one. Therefore, it says Sportline over here. Talking about the design, the overall shape of the car is still the same and you very much recognize it to be a car rock, but there are subtle changes that add to the whole facelift appeal of the car as well. So, you have the new updated headlights which are now have this curved out portion here and have the crystalline elements that again look nice. You have the huge butterfly grille over here because it's a sport line, it's finished stop with black and it's slightly redesigned on the whole as well. Other than that, you got a redesigned bumper and on the Sportline, it looks even more sportier than the standard car and a nice touch though, it's this little spo spoiler element down here that adds the sporty, sportiness of the car as well. Talking to you about the side, there's nothing that changed, so you have the same usual silly out as a standard car and blackout mirrors and roof rails as well. This is to add to the Sportline appeal, but what's really interesting are these alloy wheels which are new and it's very unique appeal to them because of the black and silver element on the design and you can choose between 17 and 18 depending on which variant you are getting of the car as well talking about the back again it's again very much the same but the new 3d effect led tail lamps at the back on either side and you have the skoda karok badges here in uh, full black and it does say 4 into 4 because the car comes standard with four wheel drive as well other than that, you got a redesigned dual tone bumper down here, which is finished off with a standard white, black, and you have chrome, and you have the exhaust on either side as well. So that's about the exterior of the Skoda Karok. Let's go and check out the inside. Talking about the inside of the Skoda Karok, again, it's very much familiar to be a Karok, but you have the updated steering wheel here that has this new splash of chrome and you have the various controls to control your infotainment system and your instrument cluster. Also adding premium is the new material which feels much more premium. Although it's scratchy, it is much more premium on the top and only lower down you find a scratchy plastic. But even that is very well put together. You got an 8 inch touch screen over here that controls various of your functions and you got analog instrument clusters. Now, normally, normally we do not really support the trend of having digital instrument clusters and analogs are much easier to read but over here Skoda could have used this opportunity to probably make it make the instrument cluster look more premium than earlier because it's got the silver elements and looks a bit left out in the car but otherwise it's a very well put together car as well you got nice huge rectangular AC vents on all the side of the cabin and in the center as well which feel nice and premium as well and you also got your automatic climate and control here and various other shortcut buttons which are nice and you got a DSG automatic transmission as well. Storage functions on the whole are good. You got a nice storage space here that will probably store your phone much easier and you got twin cup holders as well. You got another storage area over here and USB socket and a 12 volt socket as well. So, quite a lot being offered by Skoda. I really like how the glo glove box has its one touch function, but the glove box on a whole could be bigger. But you do have uh, aircon controls here, probably to it's a chill glove box to store your stuff when if you need to uh, cool your stuff whenever you did. Other than that, even the seat comfort is pretty good, so you are sitting pretty decently. You can see a lot out of the car and the overall co seat comfort is very good you do a manual seat adjust and the seats on a whole really feel very comfortable as well the mirrors are also nice it's a very it's a bit of a 
oval uh, shape but gives you pretty much good view out of the car as well you have auto dimming in your rear view mirror which is again shaped very nicely gives you a lot to see out of the car and you have the other controls over here which is your light as well as and you do have a panoramic sunroof as well Footwell area on the whole is pretty good. The left leg leg rest could be better, but otherwise your right side pedals are pretty good and comfy as well. Another thing I've noticed is you have tilt and telescopic steering adjust, so you adjust the steering as per your need as well. So that's about the Skoda Karuk at the front. Let's go and check out how the space on the back. Talking about the back seat. This is really actually very spacious over here. The Karok I know is a mid-size SUV but it kind of looks like it's small but the car is pretty big on the inside. So you got a good amount of headroom even with the sunroof being there. We have quite an inch amount of headroom. Your view out of the window is really good as well. And and the overall feeling of space also is very nice. You have to see it with this little binnacle on either side because it's a sport line to give you a sportier feeling. And it's just there either to channel air or to give you a look ahead. And third passenger, however, will find it a bit cramped here to see it because the, because the leg space is not the most comfortable. But it's all right. A kid here would be the best. And even the backrest is not hard. Another thing I've noticed is another thing i've noticed is this area is not rubbery it's very much soft like a seat wherein in most cars we find this area is always the hardest when you kind of get a very hard feeling over here it's not it's very comfortable and you have this little armrest that you can pull out and you have three cup holders here so you can always have your drink as well and another point i want to notice the armrest is pretty huge and even if you have your drinks here it's not going to disturb you because you can just keep your hand on either side in the middle or your and it's very comfortable to share with another passenger as well. We love how the AC vents are positioned. It's low but placed high so it should blow air into your face. But we'll put that to the test whenever we do get a test drive of the car. And you have a little storage area here to store your coins and a 12 volt charging socket as well. So that's pretty much on the back of the Skoda Karok. Let's go and check out the boot. Talking about boot space, you got 521 liters of luggage space which can be extended when you fold down the seat because you have 60-40 split and bag of cameras into the car. It, it's quite a high loading lift but you don't feel much of that, you can just lift the bag and put it in. And the boot overall is shaped in a very nice manner and can place your bag there quite easily as well. Talking about the engines on the Skoda Karok, we have a range of engines ranging from 0.5, 1 litre and a 2 litre. So let's start with the first engine. First engine is a 1.5 litre petrol which produces 150 PS, 250 Nm of torque. Comes with a 6 speed manual or a DHC automatic. Then, then you have a 1 litre petrol which produces 110 PS, 200 Nm of torque and comes with a 6 speed manual transmission. Next up are diesels, it's a 2, 2 litre diesel with 150 PS 360 Nm of torque, comes with 4 wheel drive and DHC automatic as well. After that you got a 2 litre diesel with 116 PS 300 Nm of torque and comes with a 6 speed manual. And last but not least is a 2 litre diesel with 150 PS 340 Nm of torque and a 6 speed manual transmission. So that's your engine range on the Skoda Karok facelift. Now, if you guys have been watching our videos, you definitely want to know about the features and specs of the car. Well, hit the link in our bio, it will take you straight to our website to read all the uh, dimensions, uh, specs and the features of the car. Or on the flip side, hit to www.drivemediareviews.com, will give you all the latest feed about the cars and other vehicles as well. So, you like the Skoda Karok facelift uh, sport line, huh? Thinking whether Skoda is going to do a VRS. Ha ha ha. Not really. I hope so if it's in the cards. And on that note, let's wrap things up. We should drive me the review signing off from Marcel Skoda in Croydon. Uh, do come here to check out the cars. I'll put a small video showing you where the showroom is. And till then, do remember to subscribe, like, share and visit our website as well. Any further information only, do let me know in the comment section below and what other cars you want to see. And this is Drive Media Review signing off for now. Bye.